Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the filleting tool in SOLIDWORKS and ways we can add tricky and problematic fillets to our models. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at how we can create a convex fillet to concave fillet transition. So in this part, we have a fillet that is convex, and it transitions to a fillet that is concave. And somewhere along here, maybe roughly here, the transition is perfectly flat. So I can't use the standard fillet tool to create this geometry, but I can use the fillet tool as a good starting point, and then I can use some surface features to finish the transition. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm starting a sketch on the top plane. And here, I've added a line through the middle of this uh, slot and converted some of these edges into, a, uh, into the sketch. And I'm using this sketch to split the part. So the split takes the solid body and turns it into two smaller solid bodies. It doesn't cut away anything, any material, but it simply splits the solid body apart. So now that I have the two solid bodies, I can just imagine at this point that this portion is, is hidden. SOLIDWORKS isn't considering it. When I add this fillet and when I add this fillet, they stop exactly where the split is. So now I'm going to use Combine. And Combine's great for putting these two pieces back together. So I now have the fillets manually controlled uh, exactly where they needed to stop. But I'm now going to need to outline an area for this concave to convex blend to live in. First thing I'm going to do is create a split line. And the split line needs a sketch. In this case, it's on the top plane. And I've sketched a spline that's made tangent to this edge and to this edge. I don't necessarily have to use a spline. I could also use a series of lines and arcs if I needed a little more control. The key here is that the starting and ending pieces of geometry need to be tangent and tangent to this geometry. And here then I could perhaps add in some dimensions to fully define this sketch depending on what was uh, required. However, the spline works pretty well most of the time to just quickly define the shape. Regardless how we define that shape, we just need to make sure that it's tangent to the start and the end. The next thing I'm going to do is create another plane because I'm going to need to create a split line that joins this edge and this edge. And I could use the, the right or the front plane, but I find it a little easier to create a new plane that's through this vertice and this vertice, so kind of the start and the end vertices of our split line. And finally, the third reference is a plane that's, uh, that you want to be normal to the intended direction of this final plane. So I have this plane here, and I've started a sketch on that plane. And I've used the spline, made it tangent here, but if I recreate this spline, I like working in 3D, and because we made it to uh, the plane through this vertice and this vertice, they're all automatically on that plane, and I get the coincident relation automatically. Next, I'll pick these two edges and add tangent, and add tangent. So this spline looks a little weird in this plane, but then when it's projected onto this face, we get a nice smooth transition between here. We don't see that squiggle that was present in the spline. Now that I have the outline for this blend to live in, I'm going to use Delete Face, and I'm going to pick all of these faces and delete them from the model. So I've now taken what was a surf solid body and turned it into a solid body. Now the surface body. The reason I need to do this is if this was a fully tangent transition, I could use Delete and Fill with the Tangent Fill, but because it's not, I need to use the Surface Fill, which gives me control over the individual edges. So tip for using surface fill, right click the first edge you want to use and select open loop. This will go and pick all of the edges. And note that when using this, the first edge that you pick is always going to be at the top of the tree. So I know I want this one to be tan or contact, not tangent, so I'm picking it first. So I'm going to click OK and I want merge result and try to form solid on. What this will do is knit the surface into the model and create a solid body. So click OK. 
Whoa, and I get a really crazy looking surface. Definitely not what I want. This isn't the at all the transition I was looking for. So if you see surface fills like this, the problem is probably that you're trying to apply an end condition that's geometrically impossible. In this case, if I zoom in in this corner, I can see that the mesh is getting rather tight here. It's because there's a very, very little tiny edge here. And this edge, the surface fill is trying to become tangent to this edge, when in reality it can't because this edge and this edge are not tangent to each other. So if I switch this to contact, we'll see the preview cleans up the whole, it looks much better. I don't have that uh, really wild looking preview that I had before. And if we complete the feature, I have a much, much better transition. So here, I, using the surface fill, I'm able to blend this convex fillet into this concave fillet rather easily, something I wouldn't be able to do with just the standard fillet tools. So to recap, when faced with these modeling situations, you need to add fillets you can, using either split or extruding blocks in the model. Blocks have the same effect of creating new faces that stop the fillet. Once the fillet's added to the model, I need to define the area for the blend. If I had used blocks, I would use delete and patch to remove them from the model. The split tool has the benefit of not needing the blocks and the cleanup work is not required. Finally, I'll create the opening with delete face. And finally, use surface fill to complete the transition. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Demani Group on LinkedIn and YouTube, where we'll be announcing new videos in the series.